Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this Ansible Tower video, I'm going to be integrating my Ansible inventory into GitHub. So, a quick review. An inventory and, and an inventory file in Ansible is the file that you use to uh, declare your managed nodes. So, you know, you want to uh, control, manage, configure, update, backup, whatever you do with Ansible, you want to do that on, you know, server 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, the hosts files where you put server 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, that's basically like, that's the thing that tells Ansible where to go to do its stuff. So in a previous video, I did an integration in GitHub with Ansible Playbooks. So this is kind of just an extension of that, but here you're going to be doing the inventory integration. And this is also helpful too. Again, uh, it's a single place where people can maybe more easily uh, view it, update it, access it, uh, the inventory I'm talking about, uh, compared to just having like say a, a flat file in Etsy Ansible hosts or something. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is to create a hosts file in your GitHub repository. So here I'm not going to put my uh, a link to it because it's private. Uh, and I'm going to be changing this. I'm going to be using this kind of for my own stuff as well, which is why it's private. Uh, but basically, create your hosts file in your GitHub repository. And that's going to be the one that you are linking to Ansible Tower itself. So here again, pretty simple, just working at least for the moment off, uh, you know, all serve one, two, rel hosts, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, because I have a, like a demo update playbook that I'll be using. So that's what that's going to be for. And, uh, and that, and there's a lot more that you can do with hosts. You can do IPs, you can do IP ranges, you can do all kinds of stuff, not just uh, host names, but really it's, at the end of the day, it's to declare your managed managed nodes. So create your hosts file there. And then what you do in your Ansible tower. And for me, I'm just going to be using my uh, same playbooks repository. Maybe this is not the best practice if you want to kind of separate things out uh, or just name it something different. So I'm going to be calling it from the same uh, from the same thing, repository. So anyway, uh, go to Ansible Tower once you have your hosts file created, and then you can either create a new project or use the existing project. So for example, uh, this test project I did before, and this was to link up the, uh, the playbook in GitHub to Ansible Tower itself. So I'm going to actually just do this on my ddsec1 uh, because then I can, this kind of will help me offline too just to kind of get my stuff together as I start uh, once again building out my uh, lab if you want to call it that. Uh, so this is basically what I'm going to use. Point is I'm not going to create a project because I already have the project already created and synced up in Ansible Tower from GitHub itself. You see Playbooks A. Playbooks A. And you also see because it's private, I need a SCM credential, which is a deep dive sec GitHub PAT personal access token. So um, I'll probably create another video on how to set those things up. But for the time being, just remember that if it's a private repository, then you need to add a credential to access it because otherwise you won't be able to. So here, if you don't have a project, create one, or if you have a project already created, which you're using for playbooks, and you just add your hosts file, well, just use that one. Next thing you do is go over to inventory and create an inventory here. So I'm going to say ddsec github. Probably don't need github, but anyway. Uh, so what you want to do is you'll notice these are grayed out right here. So first thing you need to do is to save your new inventory. Now these things are opened up. 
So what you do then is you go into sources and you add a new source. So I'll just say GitHub because why not? So here, sourced from a project. This is the project in Ansible Tower that I was we were just looking at a minute ago. So we don't need a credential because it's already applied in the project. Project here, ddsec, right there. Okay. Next thing is update options. So here, update on launch. What this is going to do is anytime that this inventory is used, uh, so for example, the jobs which run the playbooks, anytime those jobs run, they're going to sync uh, to GitHub first to pull down the most recent update on the playbook. So uh, this is really good. You just need network connectivity. Uh, I think that it would error out if you cannot access GitHub. But then again, if your network is down, you probably have bigger problems than a Ansible uh, playbook. So update on launch. And then you have other, other different ways, methods of doing it. And you can look at the tool tips. And then here, this is where it gets a little unclear. So inventory file hosts, that's the file that I created, right? Well, I don't see that in here. So probably because you can name hosts anything and then maybe in a config file point to that uh, appropriate thing. Anyway, hosts, that's you just type it in there. If you'll remember in the setting up the playbook GitHub integration, those playbooks were already pre-populated. Here they're not. So there you go, hosts. And we're going to save. OK. So now what we can do is we will go down here, ddsec github. This is the inventory. Now let's try this. Start sync. When I talk about syncing, this is going out to GitHub and trying to pull down that inventory file and then parse it and kind of give you, pull out the, the appropriate hosts to connect to. So what you see here is sync failed, okay? Not the end of the world, but something that I observed is that maybe, f let's just try it one more time. But what I did before is I would go into the projects and I would sync from there instead of syncing from here. So let's try that and hopefully it'll work. So we go to projects. Remember, this is the project that we are connected to for the inventory. So let's go here and do that. We'll synchronize and then let's go back once this is done. We'll go back to the inventory and we'll take a look there. Okay, here. So we'll click it and we will go down to sources and let's try it one more time, synchronize here. So every time that I tried this before worked, so this we should see it turning green. When it's green, it means that your information is kind of, you know, gotten from GitHub. So now we can go to hosts here and these are the items that uh, this is your inventory file, basically. So DB, web, and rel hosts, and these are the groups. Uh, rel, because all is just default, but uh, web, DB, and rel hosts. So uh, my inventory, I'm going to be using the rel hosts group. So just to be aware and just keep in mind, too, when you run your playbooks, you are applying the group in your playbook itself. So don't get tripped up to think that you select your group as well in the job. You do not. You do that in your playbook. So here, uh, my group is rel hosts, and my playbook is rel hosts, or whatever you know it would be. You just have to match them up. Okay. All right. So we are looking good there. Uh, let's. Let me just. Uh, Try to go back. There we go. All right. Green. Good to go. Now let's go to templates and we'll go to the rel update one. 
and let's change the inventory to DD set GitHub. Select, and because it's the same uh, playbook name, that's all you need to do. And once we do that, let's save it first, and then we'll launch, and then we will see if it works. Remember verbosity, if you want to see more of what's going on, you probably want to put it more verbose. All right, so to recap, what we did is we used an existing project that had GitHub integration. If you don't have one, you have to create one, but we used a project integrated with GitHub and we connected that to an inventory and after a couple syncs we got the hosts synced up from GitHub right here and then what we're doing here is we're applying that to one of our jobs here and let me launch and I will pause this while it runs and then uh, once it does I think we should be good to go And we're back, and the run of this job for the update playbook was successful. So you can just see here, it's, uh, it's using the update.yaml, update and reboot, and you should see this is the name right there, update and reboot, and just kind of going through, it, it's just an update, it didn't have anything to update, so it was pretty quick, a minute and 43 seconds. So, uh, so you can see here, inventory DD set GitHub, that's what we did. Status was successful, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, so another quick recap, uh, just creating a project here and applying the, that project to an inventory, updating your template, and then running it, and that is your integration uh, of your inventory into GitHub. So that's all I had for this video, and stay tuned for future videos.